Okay, All Bay Music Magazine. Let them know who you are. Hey, man, it's your boy Mabel 101, man. Didi's Palazzo in the Villa, DG. Okay. So, what inspired your stage name, Mabel 101? Oh, man. Well, of course, I'm always in motion, you know. Everybody always telling me, like, you know, you always mobbing around, man, moving around with a head of steam, you feel me? And I've always been a man of business. So mobbing is actually an acronym, you feel me? Man of business because it's necessary. Okay. Uh, so in terms of music, when did you start making music? Seriously, this year, 2021, in May. That was my first my first drop, mobbing 2.0, you feel me? Shout out my niggas in stock, I love her, Nicky 900, you know what I mean? Um, the song was already done, and then of course, you know, given the title, mobbing, it's like, you know, it's only rightfully fitting that I went ahead and jumped on the joint, and uh, now here we are. So, the first time you ever freestyled or did anything that, you know, involved you creating was this year. You never freestyled, mm -hmm. you never... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, you know, like old school. You know what I'm saying? You know, back with some of my OGs, you know what I mean? Like when they first dropped back with Bad Day to School, that dropped this shit, you know, young fellas, you feel me? But, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, Stone, you feel me? You know, all back then during that time, it definitely was, you know, that's really when you wanted to to uh, showcase what you had, you feel me? See if you can go ahead and box with them one time, you know, on the beat. Um, but I was always in the sports, though. You know what I mean? Football was always my thing. So for me, it was just like whenever I knew I had the time to give it, then I'll go ahead and give it. So you definitely have experience in music before this year. You just, you're back at it this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how, how young were you when you first started venturing into the creation of making music? I was around like 14, 15. Okay. Yeah. Dope. So uh, how did your upbringing in EPA influence you into a music career? It's the cage, you know what I mean? Uh, aside from sports, I knew that, uh, you know, we needed a, another little outlet, you know. Uh, obviously, school is definitely important, you feel me? Education is highly important to me, you feel me? But I needed something else to uh, to keep it interesting, you know what I mean? So, aside from sports, I always had took a music class. That was always my thing. Uh, the section, you know, you got a lot of pits, like I said, you got a lot of pits in the cage, you feel me? Somebody got to try to beat an alpha at all times, you feel me? Somebody's always trying to um, take yours, if you will, you know? So you, you want something to call your own. So when you're in the booth, you know what I mean? Or for me, you know, as a corner, when you're on that island, it's only you, you know what I mean? It ain't no, you leaning on somebody or none of that. I mean, yes, you know, you got your linebackers and yeah, you got your managers and you know, or some things of that nature, but when it's all said and done, it's on you. Got you. What would you say are some of the, maybe a couple important lessons you learned coming out of East Palo Alto? Oh, man, yeah, number one, don't tell. <laughs> that's the first thing, don't tell. Yeah, that's that big. <laughs> if you feel like you're going to tell, stay in the house. Uh, number two, know that... You know, PA only two and a half square miles. You know what I mean? You can run the whole hood in a workout. So, but they're very, very important two and a half square miles. You know what I mean? On one end, you know, at the beginning, you got Facebook. You feel me? You take university all the way to the end. You know, you got Stanford. You feel me? It's really a million dollar spot, for real. Um, so it teaches you how to grind, how to go. You know what I mean? 24 7. Because otherwise, you know, you'll just be uh, content, you know. You become complacent. You got a lot of people that say, "Oh, well, you know, I'm a product of my environment." Don't get it twisted. I'm definitely a product of my environment, but I'm a better product of my environment, though. You feel me? Products can get better. You know what I'm saying? Over time, surely, especially you feel me if you got uh, the resources. You feel me? You got people that's you know behind you that's backing you. You know what I mean? Or, or even if you just got a dog mentality. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you can sit there and mope all day and. You know, and I came and this and that and, you know, turn into keep sweat and talk about how you want to, you feel me? Or you could put on your Nikes and just do it. You know what I mean? Got you. So you got an album out? 
Yeah, EP just dropped, you feel me? Mobbing in Tulum, you feel me? That shit on all platforms. That shit going crazy too, right there too, you know what I mean? I mean, G Kid, it was the first track. Of course, you know, it's a lick on there, you feel me? Shout out West Oakland, Acorn. Y'all talking about when the Broly Shady Nate went in there and stepped on that. Bunk Gladden stepped on that, you understand me? You know, he the head of the DG. Uh, yeah, you know, we definitely got some shit going. And of course, you know, 2 p.m. in Tulum, you feel me? That's my joint right there, you know what I mean? We north of 92K right now, so, you know, I need y'all to help me get that to 500K, you feel me? For sure, to go ahead and run that up. We're, we're north on 92,000? Yeah. Okay. So it's going up. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Heck yeah. So how many tracks are on the album? Five. Okay, yeah. So we got a, we got a, a potent project. Uh, who is the producer? Believe it or not, I got a couple of them. Okay. You know I, mean? I got a couple of them. Shout out Hoka T.Y., you feel me, out of Lithuania, Brody from the UK, you understand me? Got a lot of people, you know, don't get it twisted. We got a lot of dope producers here in the Bay, you feel me? But for me, I've always been the type of cat that I know, you know what I mean? Elsewhere, you feel me? There's yeah. a lot of people that get in, you feel me? So you like I to went, venture out. Yeah, you know what I mean? I went ahead and crossed the pine, went over there, you know what I mean? Snatched that joint, DJ ID out of Hawaii. You feel me? He actually the producer at 2 p.m. to long. You feel me? You know, any fuck around in the Bay, too. For real, for real. Uh, and then, of course, Ann Beats. He the producer. Ann Beats 559. You feel me? He the producer of uh, Fire In It. You know what I mean? Me and Cuzzo G. Carter 1300. He the producer of Fire In It. But Hokai T.Y., though, that's my boy. You feel me? He, he definitely, you know, It's a Lick produced by him. AMG Kidded produced by him. Pump Fake featuring Shill Mac. You feel me? Shout out Fairfield. You understand me? Produced by him. Stepper. Do you have any visuals out right now? Definitely. You know what I mean? Moving around. Me, Young Smiles, G Carter 1300, that's out. 2 p.m. in Tulum, that's out. You know what I mean? Mobba 2.0, me, Bird 2.0, Nikki 900, that's out. AMG Kidded actually was shot the other day. You know what I mean? I got some other things cooking up too, you feel me? So, you know, I'm getting ready to flood y'all with some visuals. Okay. A lot of people have been on me about that too. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, where? You, know, you got a lot of songs out, but you want more visuals. I'm like, no, no. You definitely gotta find your equal balance with this shit. Definitely. Um, how about uh, you know? Do you have any tours or events coming up? We got a show first call at the DNA Lounge, December fifth. Pull up, tickets is on sale right now. You understand me? It's in my bio on IG. My the most hated number two. You know what I'm talking about? Um, shortly after that, me and San Quinn. We may actually do something on the 27th at Fairfield, you know what I mean? I know you yeah, I probably be me rocking with the Quinn lately, you feel me? It's a lot of shit going and cooking, you feel me? You know, PA and Frisco always fucked with it, you know what I mean? But now we're going to do it the exotic way. Is there any artists that you would like to work with? Oh, yeah, Def. Uh, it's crazy, too, because we actually uh, just rubbed shoulders not too long ago. Me and Lil Blood need to do something, you feel me? Me and Lil Blood need to do some. Me and Neff need to do some. Uh, T Grizzly. You know what I mean, money bag, yo. I got a couple. I got a couple on my list that I definitely gonna be tapping in with real soon. I like your selection there. For sure. Um, so I, I see you got a lot of business ventures going on, from magazines to exotic strains. Uh, tell us, tell us about your, the business ventures you've got that's kind of collaborating with your music career. Well, of course, you know I am CEO of Mobbing Exotics LLC. Uh, you know we definitely got some big things going on. I'm working on, you know, I'm trying to jump in every dispensary. You know what I mean in the bank. You know what I mean. Of course, you know we need to start right here, and then of course everything else will like venture out. You know, you got your Colorados and yeah, you know everything in Detroit, Chicago, or whatnot. You feel me? You know, Burner got this. You got the whole world lit up right now, you feel me, behind Cookie. So, of course, I'm just trying to get my boxcar on that train and, you know, do my thing one time. Uh, as far as the magazine, the magazine is definitely something that, you know, you got to take time with. You know, you got a lot of people that, you know, they may rush and, you know, put out some bullshit. You feel me, that's something that we're going to do over here, so... That'll be dropping next year, so you know what I mean. We definitely just reason the wheel with it. You know, you can submit photos right now. You know what I mean. All the info's all online. Uh, yeah, this shit is definitely heating up for real, for real. It's actually kind of crazy because it'd be days where I'll be feeling like I'm not doing enough, and then it'd be days where it'd be like, damn, keep 
for real. I'm really overwhelmed. You know what I mean? Like, on some hand. So, you know, it works out, though. I'd rather have a whole lot of shit to do than nothing to do. Where could people find you online? Well, of course, like I mentioned, you feel me? IG, Mobbin Most Hated, number two, two Bs, you feel me? Twitter, Mobbin 101 underscore, you know what I mean? YouTube, official page of Mobbin 101. You know, Mobbin 101, no spaces. Everywhere, you just type it in, you know what I mean? You can hashtag it, you know what I mean? Everything, 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 all that. Is there any last words or shout outs that you would like to give before we end the interview? Yeah, man, of course, you know, shout out the whole Bay Area, man, you feel me? And of course, you know, shout out all my fans, man, you feel me, near and far, you know what I mean? I get a lot of spins, you feel me, in different countries, you know what I mean? A lot of different states. Uh, for everybody that's supporting so far, you feel me? I appreciate you. For those that's not, I appreciate you too, you feel me? Because, you know, uh, I need y'all, you feel me? I definitely need y'all as well. You know what I mean, y'all definitely some of the fuel to the fire. Uh, raise your kids. You feel me? Good, good grades. You know what I'm talking about? Don't snitch. You know what I mean? Stay away from them suckers. You know? Stand for something. Make sure that you stand for something, man. For real, for real.